the objective of uh, this demo is to create a simple QualNet application which attempts to um, demonstrate an MM1Q. So what we have here is we've created two devices and between them is a single link. Uh, the link is uh, 10 megabits per second link. Take a look at the settings of the link. Um, I'm sorry, that's a one megabits per second link. And uh, on top of that, we have a variable bitrate application running uh, with an average size of 512 bytes. Um, uh, packet sizes and an approximately 1000 second simulation run to get accurate simulation readings and um, we have reduced the delay between these on this particular link to zero milliseconds and the variable bitrate application uh, generates uh, an exponentially distributed interval time uh, with a mean which is given by the as specified over here. Um, and if we take a look at a particular simulation run, let's see, uh, we run this for a slightly shorter period, um, let's say approximately 100 seconds, and see how it goes. going to run it at full speed to be able to get the results as quickly as possible even then it's going to take some time there you have it and now let's take uh, a look at the statistics that have been generated um, the statistics file is right here and we're going to take a look at the average time uh, in the queue and the reading here says 3.4 times 10 to the power minus 2 milliseconds, uh, 10 to the power minus 2 seconds. Approximately 3.4 uh, times 10 to the power minus 2 seconds. Um, now we recorded all of that over here in an Excel sheet. Um, and we have calculated using MM1 theory, uh, MD1 equations for determining the expected uh, amount of delay. Uh, the reason why it's MD1 is because the packet sizes are fixed and uh, the interarrival time is exponentially distributed, single uh, server queue. And um, what you see over here is that the results are quite accurate and we will see the results in two ways one the first one is a logarithmic plot to be able to see the match between the simulation which is the blue line and the theory which is the maroon line and you can see that we have a fairly accurate plot and the other one is a normal uh, non-exponential um, plot and you see that the results are extremely accurate.